Hi guys, I am Seer Chime, and I welcome you back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we went to the Lon Lon Ranch where we reacquainted ourselves with Talon and his cute daughter Malin. Yes, I realized I just called Malin cute. Do not read too much into it. I still think Andrew is more beautiful, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I do think... Anyway, getting away from that, we went to the Lon Lon Ranch where we learned a bonus song from Malin, and then acqu acquired an extra bottle full of milk from Talon in a game of chasing super chickens. As weird as that sounds. Then shortly after that, we came back over here to the Hyrule Castle, where we got ourselves a Hylian shield at a great discount, and then won a large Deku Seed bullet bag from a slingshot game after failing miserably at that three different times. Now that after doing all of that, we've actually acquired a great deal of items, which will actually make the trip up to Death Mountain much easier, and that's actually what we're going to do up in this episode here. We are going to make our way up to Death Mountain and try to get the Spiritual Stone of Fire. Now before we actually take off to the Kakariko Village to actually do that, I actually found something funny that I discovered in the previous episode. Well, I didn't really discover it, I just kind of did it out of a moment of frustration. But anyway, you recall in the last episode when I said if you get the Hylian Shield, the only thing you can actually do is just bend over and just more or less do this turtle thing that you can't move anywhere. And I actually found something else that you could do with this thing as well. If you get super frustrated, you could do a head disc type of thing on anything that is on Link's level by just, well, headbutting into it. So, I am frustrated. I cannot take this head to concrete. Ah, it's so frustrating. <laughs> ah, things I do when I'm bored. Well, if you don't want to use it for a head disc kind of thing, you could always just use it like, oh, hail the idiot in the red shirt and all oh, hail the idiot in the blue shirt or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> do with that what you will. Okay, well, getting away from that. Like I said, we're going to go on and head up to Death Mountain. We're well equipped to do that, so we're going to do that now. First, we're going to leave this Hyrule Castle Town, which is one of my least favorite places in the game, if not my absolute least favorite. Ah, so long, you crazy jerk. I will see you again when the sun is no longer shining or anything like that. Go ahead and enjoy guarding the least favorite place in this game. Which is a tad bit ironic, because I love the Hyrule Castle Courtyard, but just outside of the castle courtyard is, well, the Hyrule Castle Town itself. I don't know, try to figure that out. Well, anyway, we're not going to worry about my least favorite and favorite places in the game. We actually have to make it over to the Kakariko Village and start making our way up to Death Mountain. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that accordingly. And if we can get there before nightfall, that would be incredibly helpful. I do not like taking the trail up there by nightfall. But I have this feeling we're not really going to have a choice. Oh, uh, well, well, we did make it to the village before nightfall, and actually that does bring me some I could talk about really quick. Kind of forgot to mention that if you do come into a certain location at a certain time of day, well, sometimes the locations that you go into where time is frozen will reflect the scenes accordingly. So like in here right now, you can see it is obviously sunset, and you can see how the sky is kind of just pink and purple and orange in the proper places. This is actually quite nice if you want to take the time to enjoy it. I don't know why you'd want to enjoy the sights of nature from this village, but... Well, then again, if you enjoy doing that, feel free to, but... Honestly, who would want to enjoy nature from just a video game where you're... Actually, I take that back! Think about it. Enjoying nature from the comfort of your own home while still getting the views and sights and beauty of nature? Oh yeah, that's definitely how life was meant to be. In the comfort of your own home, just enjoying the views of nature. <laughs> oh, well, that's something I... Don't really. <laughs> uh, that's not something I should approve of, and quite frankly, I, don't. I like nature. I know I kind of say like I don't, and really I don't like... There I go contradicting myself, saying I don't like nature, and then I do like nature and everything like that. I like the beauty of nature, I just don't like being out in it. So there you go. Okay, getting away from that, we need to go up to Death Mountain. We couldn't really go up before because we weren't really prepared, but you know what, dude? I am well prepared now. I have an extra bottle full of milk to keep me healthy. I have a Deku shield, or not a Deku shield, but a Hylian shield to turtle up in and save myself. And I have 20 nuclear sticks that will save me from harm. I am well ready to go up to Death Mountain, and I'm going to do so accordingly, and there's nothing you could do to stop me, jerk. Ha ha ha. And I'm not just saying that because Princess Zelda told you... Princess Zelda told me that you couldn't stop me. Okay, well anyway, moving on. Death Mountain is just beyond this trail, so let's start heading up to get the Spiritual Stone of Fire. Once we come here, we will see that Death Mountain is a volcano, and well, instead we actually come to Death Mountain Trail, so we're not quite there yet. Well, anyway, this is actually not a long trail, but it doesn't make coming here any easier because, well, as you're about to see, we actually have some new enemies, and they are enemies I do not care for. 
because if you could not guess, they are bugs. I give you the red tektite. Just lock onto them with Z, and that's really all it says. Well, anyway, these things aren't that hard, but I somehow managed to actually get hurt every time I battle these. At one time was the exception to the rule. But yeah, these different bugs here are all littered out throughout the valley, and die, you stupid thing! Die, you stupid bug! There's one thing I've made perfectly clear in this Let's Play, it's that I hate bugs! And there I am. Oh my goodness, I've killed three straight without taking damage. Wow, I am shocked. That has never happened to me before. I always take some kind of damage from these things, and... Whoa! Stupid bug! Die, you stupid thing! I have not taken... Die! Gut! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Actually, I was sitting here mumbling about random things like die, but never mind. Okay. So we had a... Whoa! Looks like we've got a weird rock over here. Whoa! That is not a rock. That is a... What are you, dude? I am one of the Gorons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Ah, so it looks like we have a Goron here, one of the people that Impa told us about when we were actually heading up here. Look at that huge boulder over there. You mean the one behind you? What about it? It blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Gorons. But one day... Many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside of the cavern. It's become a very dangerous place. Wait a minute. One day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside of the Dodongos Cavern? The thing is called the Dodongos Cavern. Why wouldn't Dodongos pop up there? I don't know, and that surprises you? Well, how did the place get its name? Maybe it's named after a different Dodongo that might be a flower or something. Yeah, here's a nice Dodongo flower for your anniversary. Uh, anyway, you were saying? On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. Gerudo in black armor, that sounds a lot like Ganondorf. Using a boulder to block the... Well, why can't you guys just eat the boulder? You're rock-eating people anyway, just eat the boulder and go on in. It's that simple, right? Well, anyway... <laughs> if you want to hear more Goron gossip, head up to our city. Goron City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Well, thank you for the tip. I might head up there. Not necessarily to partake in Goron gossip, but I need the Spiritual Stone of Fire, so we're going to head up there to see if we can't get it accordingly. So we're starting to make our way up this trail now, and he said it's not really that far, and indeed he is correct. But we do have to... Whoa! Well, it looks like we got another Goron here. Hey, dude, how's it going? You got something interesting you can contribute to, well, anything? Anything about a spiritual stone or anything like that? They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Do I want to see a fairy at the top of Death Mountain? No, I do not, and do you want to know why? One word, Navi. You try living with Navi for a day, and then you tell me if you want to see a fairy at the top of the mountain. You deal with our constant haze and obnoxious grouchiness that is bossiness and everything else like that. So what do you say to that, you rotten rock person? Still want me to go see a fairy after all that? Navi, you killed him. How dare you? <laughs> no, he did. She didn't kill him. Uh, she does that tendency to make me want to do that to Link, but that is besides the point. Well, anyway, there is a fairy on top of this mountain, and we'll kind of... Uh, we'll proceed with that a little bit more later. But for now, we've got more important things to do, which is to get the Spiritual Stone of Fire. I think we put that down there long enough, and oh my gosh, we got a rock coming! Run, run, flee, cower, hide! No! You stupid... Goron thing! Come back to my face and say that, you jerk! Whoa. Stop by an explosion? What was that about? Hey, you. Are we gonna... What is your problem? Why did you hit me? I wish I could roll down the mountain like a rock, while well, with a bomb flower, and... BOOM! If I could do that with a bomb flower, I could become a real man. Alright, you guys have weird definitions of what it takes to become a man. Yeah, we'll discuss that more later. Anyway, like I said, we need to get to Goron City to try and inquire about the red spiritual stone that is the Goron... Well, the spiritual stone of the fire. So to get that, 
I would assume that this place right here would be Goron City. Can't tell you what would make me think that, considering this is the only place that is available up here. Anyway, if we're not sure, we'll read the sign like always. It says, Land of the Gorons, Goron City. Aha! So indeed, this is Goron City. It kind of makes me curious, what kind of wonders and mysteries lay beyond this front door? With this being Goron City and above them being the stone-eating people? I'm pretty sure this city is probably magnificent, probably dressed in all kinds of, well, built-in diamonds and other kinds of rocks like that. Oh, I'm anxious. Going in to see the diamond-filled city that is... This place? This is Goron City? Wow, kind of more like Goron Canyon, but... Okay. Well, what's going on here, dude? This is Goron City. Oh, I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. Well, judging from the looks of this place, it probably won't take long, considering there's only, like, for what I saw, two of you. Well, anyway, you were saying? It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern, the place that's either named after those creatures that popped up or a flower. Still not sure yet. We Gorons live on a diet of rocks. So again, why can't you just eat the rock in front of the, well, the rock that's blocking your path? And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in the Dodongo's Cavern. But that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. So you're going to let the fact that you're picky keep you from entering the cavern that you need to go into sur to survive? Okay, we'll just leave it at that. Anyway, sigh. I want to eat... I'm sorry. Ah... <sighs> I want to eat the top sirloin rocks of the Dodongo's Cavern. Okay, this guy's not going to tell us anything of interesting. Whoa, there's another Goron. Maybe he has something interesting to say. Alright, so, well, apparently we're not going over there yet. Wow, that was, that was just an absolute failure. Well, this thing has three or four different levels, and if I could find the stairwell that will lead us up... Here we go. I'll try to talk to that guy again. Uh, we will need to if we're going to figure out what's going on here. Maybe this guy has something interesting to tell us about the spiritual stone that we're looking for or anything like that, so... You might... <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can't walk across the tightrope, and that is incredibly frustrating for me because, well... I, I could kill a bug with a stick, but I can't walk across the tightrope. That is just sad. Link, if you fall off, I am going to talk to Navi. There we go. Making it across the thing. All right, we've made it. Hey, dude, you know anything about a spiritual stone of fire? We are looking for that right now. Hey! What? It's dangerous for a little kid like you to come over here. You might fall down. Well, finally, we find somebody who cares about the fact that Link is a child. Uh, a little late there, dude, though. I've already been around the world, and I've... Well, I've done unbelievable things, like killed a bug with a... Well, a giant bug with a stick, and... You know, the more I talk about that, the less threatening these sticks actually seem. Well, anyway, never mind. I appreciate your concern, but I'm here to inquire about a spiritual stone of fire. Know anything about it? If I'm not mistaken, you came out here to eat that red stone. Well, too bad. It's not here. Well, I came here about a red stone. What can you tell me about it? I'm not here to eat anything. What? That's not why you're here? You got that right. You're looking for a spiritual stone? You must mean that delicious-looking red stone that was once displayed here. Yes, that is indeed what I'm looking for, I think. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to just give it one tiny little lick. So I snuck out here. But it was already gone! What? S somebody ate the stone? Where is it? Where is this spiritual stone that somebody has ate? I think Big Brother took it away. This Big Brother. Where is this Big Brother? I will beat the stone out of him with my sticks of doom. He always says that everyone is after that red stone. So he ate it so nobody could get it. Where is he? I will get it. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will await in here for the royal family's messenger. All right, well, that doesn't help us too much, but we will find this big brother, and we will beat him at- beat the thing out of him with our sticks of doom. And somehow I jumped that and still managed to survive. Well, anyway, getting away from that, 
We do need to find this big brother because he has the spiritual stone. Whether he's digested it or just holding it, we'll never know. Actually, we will. And there's two ways to actually get around here. The first way is you could find some stairs that will lead you down, and that would be the safest way. But I'm a glutton for punishment, so we take the way that I like to go, which is just fall down to the next level. So once we get... Oh, dude, you stupid goron! Ah, what is with these things trying to kill me? Ah, uh, Navi, you're starting to look friendly now compared to these things. Well, anyway, since we're down here, we might as well look around. Maybe we could find someone that might be able to help us out. I would say maybe that's the big brother right there, but I don't think a rolling Goron is going to be it. He's coming. Quickly, run, flee, cower in fear. Run, 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 Link. Run, Link. Run, run, run. Gotta get away from this jerk before he kills us. All right. Made it. And I don't think we made it a moment too soon. Wait a minute. Where is he? Wow, he's slow. Never mind, leaving the Goron alone. Look around here, maybe there's something down here worth our time. Okay, so we make it down here, and it's like just a dead end here. Yeah, make it around here. Well, we got one loco over here, we might as well talk to him. Hey, dude, how's it going? Do you know where a big brother is? I gotta beat a stone out of him with my stick. Anything you gotta say? Oh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just find it funny when I make some kind of goofy comment and the game just starts talking back. Anyway, I'm looking for a spiritual stone. Have you seen a big brother or anything like that around here? We don't get many visitors way up here. Where are you from? I am from the Kokiri Forest. The forest? Got that right. What's a forest? Well, if I were to put it in my own words, I would say that it is a place with of nature that is incredibly evil. Dirty, hot and a bunch of other stuff like that. But we'll just let Link give his own definition, or let him read Link's mind. Eh? <laughs> anyway. It's where a lot of trees and plants grow? Now I'm even more confused. Nothing grows around here besides the bomb flowers. We don't have seeds or nuts around here either. Well, yeah, that's alright with me. Doesn't really matter if they have seeds or nuts. Even Deku sticks are uh, very scarce around here. What? No Deku sticks? No! Oh, no! I'm gonna have to use these things sparingly, then. I know a trick that consumes sticks. If you light a stick on fire, it will burn to ashes. Press A to put it away before it completely burns. Well, that's some useful information, I suppose. By the way, I hit a stick somewhere. Hehehe. <laughs> Oh, there's a stick in here. Okay, so good. My supply of sticks will not be... Wait a minute. You didn't help. Where's the... I came down here to get on... To find this big brother, and he gets me off on a track about sticks and forests and everything else. Anyway. Hey, dude, do you have any information for me that might be useful? Hello. I need information. Do you have anything you could tell me that might be important? I'm so hungry that I can't think about anything but food. Spiritual stone? That red stone that was lighting up our city? There's more instances of mind reading in the Legend of Zelda. Big Brother Daronia took it away. Then he shut himself in his room and won't come out. As so I've been told. Since then, it feels like all the lights in our city have gone out. Everyone seems so depressed. I want you to bring back fire. Excuse me, I want you to bring fire from Big Brother's room back here. Okay, so once again, this guy has told us absolutely nothing of value. Well, we've only got one more level left, so we'll just jump down here. And if we can find another resident of this village, or city, I don't know. There's one. Hey, dude, do you know where this Big Brother is? I have been looking all over the place for him. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room, saying... I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. He shut himself in his room, saying, I will wait for the royal family messenger? Well, how am I supposed to know? Navi, what did you find? You're standing on a salt carpet for guests. It's so plush under your feet. Okay, so apparently the Gorons have learned the art of carpet making. Well, anyway, in our quest to get down here, this is indeed where we need to go. If Navi has not explicitly told you herself that we need to be here. So this is the room of the big brother, 
and he's waiting for the royal family messenger. Well, we just so happen to know a song that proves we're with the royal family, so time to play Zelda's Lullaby. So we'll let Link do his thing. That is one of the things I like about this game. I love the swirling thing that Link does when he plays his music. Well, anyway, now that we've done that, we've officially proven our worth, and we are going in to see this big brother and beat the stone out of this guy. Alright, big brother. He can't be much bigger than the other Gorons, so... Whoa! That is a bigger Goron than I thought. Okay, let's try diplomacy first. Hi, dude! I know, I realize that you might have a spiritual stone of fire. Would you be willing to make a trade by chance? What the heck? Who are you? I am Sirachime, the guy that talks to himself while making videos. Or Link, if you want to go that route. <laughs> anyway... When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived, but you're just a little kid! I'm gonna let that one slide, even though it makes me mad. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Okay, not sure what to say about that. Now I'm really angry! Get out of my face! Now! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Not really, I was quietly listening, but yes, why are you in such a bad mood right now, you jerk? Ancient creatures have infested the Dodongo's cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But... This is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Okay, so this guy right here is apparently very mad and nothing we could do is going to make him give us the spiritual stone. But what we have to do is we have to actually cheer this guy up. And the way you do that is, well, this guy actually, I couldn't find the Goron that actually says it, but this little Goron here actually likes, well, forest from the music, or music from the forest. So why don't we play Saria's song and see how he feels about this. Alright, so after we prepare, after we play Saria's song, prepare for the most interesting thing of your life. And that is... A Goron dancing in the weirdest way I have ever seen in my life. Oh! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Hot! What a hot beat! Whoa! Yeah! Yahoo! I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw him do this, I was scared to death, and I actually turned the game off, because I thought I broke it! <laughs> and even saying this now, I'm kinda speechless. I don't know what to say about this. If this is how Gorons dance, well, I'm gonna talk. This is probably what I look like when I try to dance, but anyway. <laughs> after we get done talking to him, he says, Hey! What a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy, and dance like crazy he did. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? Yes, I heard that you've either put away or ate the spiritual stone of fire. Do you have anything to say about that? What? I'm not gonna repeat that. Read Link's mind. You want the spiritual stone of fire too? The Spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Goron Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on, I'm not going to give it to you that easily, as if we really expected that to happen. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's Cavern and prove yourself a real man? Okay, there's another reference to what it means to be a real man. I guess it's different per raise. In the Kokiri Forest, you need a fairy, and here you need to destroy monsters. Well, at least their thing is more manly of trying to... Pr Never mind. Anyway, you were saying? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. 
I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. And with that, we receive a very important item, which is... Wait for it. Oh, wait. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick up a bomb flower using the A button. Alright, now wait for it. Look what I got! We got the Goron's Bracelet. Now you can pull up bomb flowers. Stand next to one and press the A button to pull it up. And some they didn't say press A to drop it or throw it. Alright, so with that, we've received the bracelet, and you can see it on Link's right hand right there, or left hand. I don't know, apparently left hand, there we go. Apparently I can't tell my left from the, my right. Also can't count, apparently. Well, anyway, there we have just received this, so we are able to pick up the bomb flower now, which is fantastic. And there's something else we were asked to do, which is to, well, bring fire from this room into the Goron City. So we're going to go ahead and do that accordingly, but first things first, I want to talk to him one more time. Destroy the monsters in the Dodongo's Cavern, and become a real man. Then we could talk about the Spiritual Stone. Okay, so it looks like we have our next quest. We've got everything we need to actually get started with that. But first things first, light a stick on fire and run through the hallway to light up all the torches in the bottom floor. May not have seen it, and this really doesn't have much purpose right now, but it will much later on. For now, though, light this torch and light this torch. There we go. And there we'll see Link synchronized dancing with a pot. Wow, that was weird. I didn't know Link the dance. Huh, go figure. <laughs> well, anyway, we gotta make it to the Dodongo's Cavern, and I will see you guys. I don't want to talk to any of you. You guys act like you got rocks in your head, and I actually believe, I actually believe it, believe it or not. Alright, first things first, gotta figure out exactly how to get out of here. Because for some reason, I am not very well versed in where we need to go to get out of the city. Yes, it's a little town and I can't find my way through. That uh, definitely tells you how good I'd be in the big city. <laughs> uh, I am not a city person. I do not live in the city. I do not hold anything against anybody that lives in the city, but I am not a city person. I'm more of a rural area person stuff. Anyway. Make it out here. And what we actually have to do from here is something that's kind of a bit, well, it's kind of a bit jerkish, believe it or not. And I don't know why these... Gorons didn't think of this. Well, if you come over here, you're actually right over where the Dodongo's Cavern is. You can look down real quick, I'll show you. Yeah, it's close enough. Well, anyway, all you have to do is pick up this bomb, throw it, and then wait. And once it goes boom, problem solved! Just like that! We've opened the way to the Dodongo's Cavern, and I'm not sure why these people never thought to do anything with that. Not really. I don't know why somebody didn't do that. All they had to do was just blow up the bomb and well, blow it up the rock and then there you go. So yeah, we've got the way down and we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, there goes that guy trying to carry a bomb flower down the mountain again. Hey dude! Your thing is open. Are you gonna go in or do anything? What do you have to say now that we've opened the cave? Oh, I see. We should have thrown the bomb from the cliff. Well, duh. Nobody ever thought of that in your city. You got two ways you could have got in. You could have just ate the rock and blew it up, and you didn't think of either one to get in. Okay, looks like we got a race of people that have rocks in their heads about as much as they have them in their stomach. Well, anyway, we are going to head into the Dodongo's Cavern in a little bit. ay ya die you stupid bug! I forgot about this! And again, I did not take damage. I have a feeling this is setting myself up for disaster. Anyway, there's one more thing I'd like to do real quick, and that is... Well, if you come over here to the entrance, you will notice that there is a little soft patch of soil here. You know what happens if we see soft soil, right? We drop a bug into it. But before we drop a bug, we must catch a bug. Because we need this for later. And after we catch the bug, we are going to make our way over here, get away from the Sculptula. Alright, he should pop out over there if I'm not mistaken, so... He did! Oh my goodness! I did it! I outsmarted a Sculptula! Wow! Haha, <laughs> nice! And picking that up, there is our 18th Sculptula! Fantastic! And we received a, pro a token for proving we destroyed it. Very nice. Okay, so I've had a lot of luck with bugs in this episode. Along with a lot of interesting things as well. And with this, the Dodongo's Cavern in here, we are officially ready to start making it... Navi? Alright, Navi. I know you bugged me all last episode. What do you want to say? Let's go inside the Dodongo's Cavern using a bomb flower. 
You are being a little over anxious, Navi. We're not going in the Dodongo's Cavern in this episode. Well, yep, sorry to spoil that, guys. As much as I'd like to go into the Dodongo's Cavern and finish this up now, the trick in the trip the trek inside is actually quite long and quite tedious and not something we could actually fit into this particular episode, so we're actually gonna save it for the next episode. So yeah, that'll just about do it for this episode. By making Darunia happy and obtaining this little bracelet thing here, we have officially got the, all the tools we need to in order to go inside the Dodongo's Cavern. Next time, in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we are going to do just that. We are going to go inside of the Dodongo's Cavern, we are going to make it through the cavern itself, defeat the monster inside, and hopefully get the Spiritual Stone of Fire. Alright, so with that, we officially have the plan in hand of what we're going to do, and we're going to go ahead and tackle it in the next episode. So, until that time... I will catch you guys later.